Human beings love to communicate, and it's part of human nature to talk to one another and to share data. Nowhere is this better illustrated than with Usenet, the large worldwide system of discussion and file sharing groups. Usenet was started in 1979, which makes it a lot older than the web. It's a vast global system of discussion and file sharing groups with hundreds and thousands of groups and millions of participants all over the world. Usenet was conceived as a way to send news and announcements between two universities in North Carolina and Duke University. Because of its origin, Usenet is still referred to as the news. Like other internet services, Usenet uses a client-server system in which you use a program called a client that runs on your computer to request services from a program called a server that runs on a remote computer. The client program, called a newsreader, is connected to a remote news server. People send messages called articles or postings to the various news groups. How are Usenet articles distributed? There is no central system to broadcast each new article to all the news servers in the world. Instead, each news server connects to other news servers at regular intervals. When the servers connect, they pass articles back and forth. In this way, new articles are passed from one server to another until they are propagated around the world. Each article has a unique identification number, so a server doesn't get more than one copy of the same article. When you want to look at the articles within a particular news group, you tell the newsreader which news group you want to read, and it displays a summary of all the articles from that group. Then you can select the ones you want to read. You can also have an attachment to an article, which can hold any type of data like photos, music, videos, and software. To test the functions of Usenet, you can go to usenet.tk, download the newsreader, then install the software registered at usenet.tk and get ready to download 300 gigabytes of free media files. Visit the website today to know more about it.